Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa with Mill Inspirations and we do some Dollar Tree hauls, other store hauls, and then some upcoming DIYs. Um, so stay tuned if you wanna see more DIYs and more hauls and things like that. Subscribe, um, become part of my little family here. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, so today is not a Dollar Tree haul, surprise. <laughs> Um, we actually went to Hobby Lobby um, for a few things and then I ended up spotting a clearance aisle so that got me a little bit excited and so I just wanted to show you you know what items I found on there nothing major you know just a couple things here and there um, just because there was a few things I didn't need and then things that I thought I didn't I didn't think I needed until it became clearance so you know um, anyway, let's go with the normal price items first, and then we'll go into clearance last. So, I was looking through their fall things, and I spotted this guy. Um, so, it's these little garland of wooden beads. I don't know how many come in here, but it is about 72 inches. And originally, it was $8.99. Um but I ended up getting it 40% off, which is I think around $5, five some, I don't know, I can't math. So I bought these um, just for now, cause they are a good size. I believe they're about half inch, I think. Um, I did buy a bunch of these wooden bees off Amazon a while back and I got like, I'll try to link that below um, just so you guys can look at that as well if you're interested. I got like 300 pieces and it was three different sizes. So I think it was about an inch, a half inch, and I think a little bit smaller. Um, and then there were like $15, I want to say. Amazon does fluctuate, so at the time it was around that price. But I know I could probably could have gotten a better deal on Amazon, but I was, I just got them anyway, just because, I don't know, my mind said yes, just, just get it. And I was like, okay, you can't tell me no, so. Um, and then I also got some, I mean, it's not Chris, it's, it's in the Christmas aisle. I know already it's crazy that they already have Christmas out, but honestly, it's just some burlap that I got. I mean, it's not really Christmassy, but it was just in that aisle. So it was originally at $5.99. I used a coupon on this one. So it was a 40% off coupon. So just maybe $4.00 or so and it's about 15 feet and about five and a half five five and a half five and a half inches wide there we go um but yeah that's what i got because uh for some upcoming diys you know i may need to have this especially for the christmas time i think roll up is when you know it'll really start thriving in that um i also got this which i've never seen before or maybe i've just not seen it before but it's a faux leather ribbon um, I do like to make handmade purses. I've not done it in a while, especially this year. I don't do craft, you know, I've not done any craft fairs. Um, or even if they were so open, I, I just haven't done it just cause with this year's going on, I just, I don't want to take chances. But I figured with this faux leather, I can make like little coin purses with it. I don't, I've not really touched to see how thick it is. I don't think it'd be that bad. So I might try to make little coin purses with that. It was $4.99, but it was 50% off for ribbon. So it was like $2.50. So, you know, if it doesn't really work out, it's fine. Um, we'll see. And this will make really good stocking stuffers if I make little uh, coin, purse, um, coin purses. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but that won't be this year that I'll be selling these next year for sure but I mean I got this just to play around with and see and if I like it you know there's always more at Hobby Lobby I can always have different designs and see um and then I just got some spray paint white I got it in flat because I like flat um it was $6.99 $6 I believe it was like 30% off so I can't remember what the price was on this but um, yeah, just uh, for the DIYs that are upcoming. Alright, so the next couple items are going to be the clearance ones. 
it's nothing like impressive but I just got a few things I did get a little bit inspired I might do some I might redo some of them you know depending on if, it, if I'm gonna get there or not but I did find this little guy which I thought was really cute I like the shape of this and the way that the little scales how they pop out so it used to be $14.99 and now I got it for $3 and 74 cents pretty good deal so everything was 75% off on this aisle and I think it was 75% off of whatever regular decor that they had and then also I think spring was 75% off and I know summer I think was 66% off I, I could can be mistaken they had two aisles that were clearance so I just went into whatever I went into all the aisles and I found things um, anyway, I thought this was a good deal. Now, this blue really doesn't go with my decor as much. So what I plan on doing is I'm probably going to use that spray paint or chalk paint and paint this white. And then where the, the scales are, I might do some gold accents in here just to make that really pop out. So I think that's what my plan is with this. And then I'm going to put, put this on my in my living room somewhere, you know, because I thought it was... I like the shape of this and then I just imagine putting like little florals on, in here or um, cotton stems you know I thought it'd be really cute kind of farmhousey you know just kind of bring that naturalness to my decor um, and then I did find this which I got it for my um, my TV stand just in front of the TV just to kind of put like the remotes and stuff so I thought it was really cute with the little um, buffalo check and then the wood framing around it. So it's not too big, which is great. It used to be $21.99 and then I got it for $5.49, which is way better than what it used to be. I mean, $21 for this. I mean, yeah, I think it is wood. But I don't know. Sometimes Hobby Lobby can be really expensive. Even at half off, it'd be like eleven dollars, ten, eleven dollars for this. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm just so used to shopping at Dollar Tree where things a dollar. So anything that's over a dollar, I feel like is expensive. <laughs> and I know it's not always the case. I know, but uh, but anyway, I still thought like five dollars and fifty cents was still way better than you know the half off sale. So good find for that and then I did find this which I thought was gorgeous really pretty has that natural carvings on there with the white the distressed and then the the wood coming through this is definitely what I'm really honing into as far as style so in my living room kitchen area dining area it's, it has a lot of elements of wood, natural wood, and the white. So I guess it's a little bit of a mix of like farmhouse with boho maybe, some modernness. It's just a mix of whatever I think looks good. <laughs> so I don't know if anything is correct as far as a design concept, but I like what I like and that's what it is. So I might end up doing a video or just so you guys can understand what I'm trying to say but um, anyway I thought this was a frame it's not because there's no glass there and it actually has that little saying on here where every day should be this wonderful which is really cute I love that now I could turn it into a frame because the back of it you know you can pop it out I do need to find a piece of glass though which honestly I might end up just going to the Dollar Tree and finding one I mean, it'll work. If not, I might find like, uh, maybe paint this white and then find like, um, I have a little mini, like a mini clothespin I can glue onto here and then I can like, you know, clothespin a picture on here or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so the price was $15.99. And it is now at $3.99, which is really good. So, you know, even if I have to DIY this a little bit, it's really not that bad. I mean, for four, under 
this is really cute. I just, I love the frame. It's so beautiful. And if you could feel it, it feels almost like that, like a chalk texture, like the paint. Um, it's really nice. This is definitely, this is probably my favorite find that I, that I saw over in the clearance. Um, all right, so the last couple items, these are kind of random. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. So, <laughs> but I thought for the deal, I mean, you'll see. But anyway, I got these two. And I think they're supposed to be like, you know, you put it on a table and then like a, like a tray and then you just kind of put whatever decor, you know, like this or something. Cause it, it doesn't lay completely flat onto the table. You'll have these little ridges here or this little, anyway, I'm not sure. This is probably more like boho anything just because it's super natural which is nothing bad I, I do like you know how it looks but I may end up painting it white or maybe adding a white wash to it just to kind of give more of that whiteness um, or I don't know maybe I might stain it, stain it darker just to give it get more like of the darker wood elements in my house too because I do have a lot of natural wood um, like you know lighter wood like this but it's also nice to have mix of colors so maybe staining this, or not staining, but like maybe painting this a little bit darker, you know, would really be really be pretty as well. So anyway, I got this, there's two different sizes. Um, so this one's a little bit smaller. I don't know, does it say the... So one is about 12 inches and the other is about uh, 14, so. Not bad. Um, anyway, so this one, this little lower one, came was at six ninety nine, and then I got it for, got it for a dollar, a uh, dollar seventy four. I mean, that's a really good price, I think. And then this one was at eight ninety nine. Oops. And then came out at two dollars and twenty four cents. So again, these are really good prices. So if I don't do anything with them right now, that's fine. If I find something to do with it, that's great. So like, you know, these are very DIYable, I think. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, like I said, I thought these were great. Um, anyway, that's it for now. That's what I got so far. Um, just from Hobby Lobby, just a couple odds and ends here and there. Um, yeah, so next time I go in there, I think it'll be probably more for like fall things or we'll see. <laughs> I love all their fall stuff, but man, like I said, they can get really expensive sometimes as much as I love that store. It's always really fun just to do like DIYs and such and um, maybe get inspirations from the uh, from Hobby Lobby to make with Dollar Tree items. A lot of people tend to do that, which I think is so fabulous because you can make it for a lot cheaper. And um, Anyway, but yeah, that's what I got for so far. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Come to my family, join our family, you know. And uh, link or uh, comment down below your favorite um, finds for today. Mine was definitely the frame. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.